the three lap super stock TT is ready to go and with so little practice it's really hard to pick a winner but last year's winner Peter Hickman's got to be the favourite Connor Cummins first away though yeah and of course Ben Hickman this year is on the all new BMW totally new bike ground up redesign of the S1000RR we'll have to see how the new machine handles the TT course Dean Harrison's probably his closest rival this battle between these two has been going on all around the road racing circuits and it just keeps on getting hotter and hotter. Dan Shelley is bang on form. Michael Dunlop, question mark? Yeah, we certainly haven't seen Michael topping time sheets like we have in previous years, but you'd be a brave man to ride him off. We know that if Michael puts his mind to it, he can do anything around the TT course. Brown Braden Bridge is the first time Connor Cummins leads the way. Glorious conditions. It's a perfect day to go racing. Michael Dunlop, of course, nursing a little bit of injury and that could hold him back. Nothing holds Dean Harrison back, but Peter Hickman a little bit quicker everywhere through the sectors. You see Davo Johnson on the CBR 1000 Honda. Flat out through the bottom of Bray. It is breathtaking stuff. Hickman already up to temperature, tyres, rider and everything, and at Glen Helen. He is about to make his mark as he comes through. Harrison was first on the road, and Hickman is now first on the timesheet. So it's another battle between Hickman and Harrison. David O'Johnson going very strongly indeed, although, although Hickman's flown past him. Davo is moving up through the field. He's on for a result here. Yeah, Davo's riding very well, but will he be riding well enough to hang on the back of Pete Hickman, I doubt. You can already see Hickman pulling away from him, and here's Connor Cummins, Dean Harrison. So there's 10 seconds between them on corrected time because they started 10 seconds apart, so Harrison is quicker than Cummins. You can tell that as they go past, but you can see it on the timing as well. And uh, Connor Cummins is not in this battle between the leaders. As they get an amazing view of Michael Dunlop's bike. Yeah, we do, and there's Peter Hickman pushing hard, looking smooth as Dean Harrison closes in on Cum Connor Cummins under brakes as they head up into the hairpin onto the mountain section. Oh, and Connor Cummins just uh, gave him a wave and let him through. He knows that uh, Dino's on a mission, doesn't he? Yeah, he certainly does, and he'll be hoping to get a toe off Dean. He knows that he's closed the gap. He's obviously caught him. He's quicker, and he'll want to capitalise on that opportunity if possible. But it's Peter Hickman who's made all the running taking two or three seconds out of Dean Harrison on every sector and on all of the laps. James Hillier having a great ride here this afternoon, but it's all to no avail when Hickman is on such tremendous form. Yeah, and talk about form. This is his strongest section of the course as he comes up over the mountain section, just sweeping past Michael Rudder as they head into the bungalow. Almost home now. Dean Harrison knows that Hickman's ahead of him on the corrected time. He's been getting the signs that tell him that. Connor Cummings doing a great job of sticking to the uh, back wheel of that Kawasaki. He has got a bit of a toe, hasn't he? That's helped. We're getting accustomed to seeing those two sharing track space this year's TT. So Gary Johnson goes through frame, and there is Peter Hickman on his way to another TT victory. We're on the final lap, but we're on the final few miles coming down off the mountain. Peter Hickman just throws a big wheel stand past the crowd on the exit of the Craig. He's obviously both fast and comfortable on the Smith Racing BMW. And at the nook, it is Dean Harrison, who hears the applause, but it's second place again for Harrison, and he knows it. It's first place again for Peter Hickman, and he knows it, doesn't he? Well, it's looking that way at the moment with a big gap between these two. First and second may have been decided, but it's a race for third place we're waiting for. It's Hickman with Michael Dunlop close behind him. Now, Michael Dunlop and Davo Johnson have been trading fractions of a second over third place. This is Michael Dunlop's bid to get a slipstream pass on Peter Hickman just to try and secure third place and finish on the podium. I think Pete Hickman actually moved over then as he slowed to cross the line. Hopefully that didn't hold Michael Dunlop up in the race to the finish. We'll see when we get the uh, final result, but we know that it's Hickman Harrison and who is going to be in third place. Well, there's your answer. Davo Johnson takes his first ever TT podium without doubt. 
a career highlight for the popular Aussie rider.